Jay Vance, who's dubbed himself J-Bot, has been touring and performing with different bands for over 20 years. But he's built most of his bandmates. She plays faster than your stupid drummer. He started out by playing with human bandmates, but it didn't work out. I can't get along with people, so it's a lot easier to just build robots to play with. To have to like wait for a bassist to like tune his bass and stuff, or to like, <clears throat> someone's playing and they just can't get that riff, and I'm like, I could program a robot to do your riff, man. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. He's preparing to get one of his yeah, bands, the that. Teddy Bear Orchestra, back together for the first time in 11 years. The group is made of salvaged parts, held together with levers and pulleys. Uh, where's the input? Oh, right. And the whole thing is powered by pneumatic air pressure. The air cylinder just comes down and press it, and then the elastic pulls it back up. He uses a sequencer and a MIDI keyboard to choreograph and write the music. A robot can play things that a person maybe wouldn't, you know, because they got all these fingers. You can do all these weird things. And go! The music isn't for everyone. It's an original sound. It's nice to have sounds that don't sound like everybody else. Each robot is different for what controls what. I mean, there's different channels, there's different uh, note numbers that control different things, so I just have to go and, you know, I have to put in the information to make each robot play. With a, with a keyboard, it's all set up so I could, you know, control motions left and right, up and down. The last time Teddy Bear Orchestra actually played a gig, that was just these two bears. Now, you know, I'm in the band, the horns are in the band, Whitey's in the band, so it's never been seen, like, live. It's not AI, but it still seems like a lot of work to avoid playing with other humans. This is the worst. Setting up and breaking down with, with any band, you're putting yourself out there, but as a solo thing and as a first show out, it's like, man, that's pressure. I, I originally saw them as a duo, very excited to see the band's growth yeah. and development. Live performances are the one time when J-Bot enjoys human attention. To answer your question, who is ready to rock and roll? I am ready to rock and roll. I was blessed with having a totally obsessive, compulsive, you know, brain that just keeps going a lot. And so I just take the ideas that I have and I put them into material things and I make things work. Bring it up home. Yeah.